Welcome back guys, Drew here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. As you see the title, you'll be like, what is that? Well, one more beer tonight, you get a big day at work tomorrow, Thursday, January 28th, and I am gonna have one more beer for, before bed because I gotta, I gotta work tomorrow, and, and then apparently this is 8.5% this alcohol. Delirium Tremens, product of Belgium. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bottle. Uh, on the back, it's strong beer, 8.5% strong Belgium beer. Delirium is triple fermented to give you beautiful, strong, golden blonde Belgium beer with a creamy white head. Beautiful. Um, the pink elephant. Like, I don't know what this bottle is made of. This is weird with, ah, I don't know. On untapped, 3.88. With a whopping, a whopping 366,446 ratings. Say that 10 times fast. I dare you. Uh, let's go. Depending on the location and batch, <clears throat> this beer can be either 8.5 or 8.7. Please do not post an edit request asking to change it from one to the other. Understood. That's untapped trying to tell us what to do here. Uh, the illusion of pink elephants and the choice of names is what due to chance. With a particular character, the unique taste of results from use of three different kinds of yeast. The result is a finished peppery bitterness without aggression. The gray bottle hides a mystery awaiting discovering by the non-faint and heart. I want to get into this. A buddy at work suggested this. I was able to find it. Thank you, Josh. Awesome. I cannot wait to try this. Uh, you know, I love suggestions. Anyone wants me to do any video, any video, I mean food related, bag of chips. You, you found this weird salary, uh, a weird little like purple carrot. L let me do it. If I can find it, I'll do it. I'll do a review on it for you guys. But bottle opener. There we go. Uh, I'm doing a Belgium glass today. You guys would all know what that is. Chai Mei. And if you don't know what Chai Mei is, well, you know what? Apparently this is more expensive. It's like $4.75 for a 330 ml uh, bottle. If you buy 12 of these, it's $56. Holy crap! Alright, Chai Mei glass. Alright, let's get into this beer. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy, nice, fluffy, white, oh, it's still coming up, look at this. So, to be honest, I'm like a beer connoisseur guy, and I never heard of this before, until like a week ago, or a week and a half ago or something, and I'm like, what? No, and I had to look up in the Delirium Tremens. Uh, it's a huge, huge, brewery? What? Whatever brewery that is, that's what it's from. H U Y G H E. Whatever that pronounces, there we go. Let's get in the smell. Now that's nice. Oh man. And this is what I love about the Chai Mei glass is the bottom. I don't think you could see it if you can. There's upside down snowfall coming like crazy right now. Oh, okay, so you get the Belgium smell. You get a little bit of hops in there. Sweetness of some sort. Um, three different kinds of yeast. It does smell like a Belgian beer though. Like I had that German beer the other day and it was 7% and that was crazy. But this is 8.5. I I can't wait to get into this to tell you the honest truth. I really want to. I was also told there's a certain taste in here and they want me to pinpoint it. <laughs> Let's see if my taste buds are okay after, t you know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Ooh. That's sweet. That's nice. Smooth. A little bit of hoppiness. Malty. Maltiness. Ooh. Ooh, that is, that is damn nice, actually. What is that? 
8.5 percent it's three different hops it's not corn there's not corn on this at all i tell you right now because the head's sticking around it's not it, it wouldn't be 56 dollars for 12 beers with corn in it you're oh no way I don't know what that sweetness is, but it's very, very nice. It hides a mystery waiting discovery by a non-faint of heart. Smooth. This is, or this is a Belgium chug beer. Like, the, you honestly, I'm not doing a chug on this because this is too expensive to do a chug on it. This is expires. Uh, the October 29th, 2023. At 7.15. So if you drink it at 7.10, well, then it's still good. Just saying. Um, I can't pinpoint any... It's just it's just a smooth multi. Multi background to it for sure. And that's what I'm getting in it. 3.88 out of 5. 26 IBUs. This is... I tell you, if I won $3 million, I'd buy Ontario out. I would. I'd buy Ontario out of it. Um, this is this is definitely. Wow. I, I thank you, thank you for suggesting this because I've never even heard of it until you told me about this. So I need it. It's amazing, amazing. I'm gonna have to go get a four pack of this. I'm gonna find out even if the beer store. I'm wondering if the beer store, wherever they have some, will deliver to the beer store here, uh, because it was it was a very hard find, and I want to say thank you. Um. Eight seven. Eight seven out of ten. This is a very excellent Belgian beer, or even better than that German beer I had that I gave it an eight. I can't believe how good this is. Eight seven guy, Delirium Tremens. Uh now I want to try their other ones. They got like three or four different ones. I'm gonna gonna be looking for them. Um uh, thank you so much. This has been a pleasure to do. Eight seven out of ten guys. Um and I you know it's it's just amazing. Uh yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you find uh, if you want me to try anything. Try wow! I eight seven out of ten. Eight seven, uh, you know, uh, it's damn good. I just there's that taste I cannot figure out. Thank you so much. That was great. I can't wait to finish that. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers.